you know, for some reason, some of the best features in the iPhone and the iPad are kind of locked away like little secrets. They're not documented very well by Apple. So I wanted to show you a list of, I think, some really cool features that you can do on the iPad and the iPhone. They're great shortcuts. App switching is the ability to go ahead and change uh, app to app, sort of like multitasking. Um, usually you can call up this multitasking bar at the bottom here by double tapping the home button and then you can just call up uh, the different apps by double tapping the button and then moving across that way. And that's a great way to do it. But there is a faster way to do it too and that's just simply taking your four fingers and then just sweeping it across and that instantly takes you to the last app that you were using. You'll notice there isn't a caps lock, there's just simply the shift button down here but you know, say you want to yell at somebody, oh my gosh, I hate your guts, and you want to do it in all caps, the great way to do that is just simply double tap the shift button and everything that you type will be in caps. This is really great if you have your iPhone and you're jogging and your headset doesn't have music controls built in. Double tap the home button and even when it's in sleep mode like this, just double tap it and you are instantly able to access your music controls up here and if you want to skip to the next song you can and that's a fast way to do it and there's my lovely family right there. This is really great when you're listening to a voice memo and you really want to get to a spot in the recording. Uh, I, normally it's kind of hard because when you're scrubbing it, you know, it goes over so much ground, especially if this is a really long uh, recording. You can of course scrub it by going to the scrubbing bar here and doing it that way, but what's great is if you point your finger at the scrubbing bar and you scroll it left or right, the more you then bring your finger down and scrub it left or right, the finer the control is uh, as you're scrubbing left and right. Say you're writing an email or you're tweeting and you're going, oh, I just didn't like what I wrote, I really shouldn't send that, or maybe I want to rethink my thought. Normally, you know, you would just press and hold the backspace key to uh, eliminate everything you've written, which can take a little bit of time, especially if you've written something really long. But if you want to eliminate the whole thing really quickly, all you have to do, like an Etch-a-Sketch, is just go ahead and shake your iPad or your iPhone and up comes this dialog box that says, do you want to undo the typing? Just click yes and everything disappears. It's a fast way to do it. If you turn on the camera, normally you have this great automatic exposure and automatic focus that focuses in on whatever you want to uh, you know, sort of have the person, person's eye focus in on. But what you can do is you can actually lock your auto exposure and your focus by just simply touching and holding the spot. You'll see that that blue square kind of flashes and that means now that the exposure of the camera and the uh, focus is locked on that one spot that you, pointing, you pointed to and if you move the camera around you won't have to worry about the exposure or the focus changing.